The Buddha once said that one of a teacher's duties to his students is to provide them with protection in all directions. Now, this doesn't mean the teacher is going to follow them around in all directions. What it means is that the teacher's duty is to teach the student how to protect him or herself in all directions. Of course, the protection comes from your actions. And it begins by associating with the right people, both inside and out. Outside, you look for people of integrity. You listen to their dharma, and then you put it into practice. And in putting it into practice, you find that you've got potential for good friends and bad friends inside. Bad friends are the ones who say, I can't do this, so they, come, they put up objections, they put up obstacles. You've got to learn how to recognize them. The people who do best at, at the practice are the ones who say, give it a try, give it a serious try. And then if it doesn't work, we'll go back and talk to the teacher. And John Fuang made this point many times, that if things, it is possible the teacher could be wrong. But if things aren't working, you have to come up with some ideas for, on your own first as to why it might not be working. This teaching and learning the Dharma is a collaborative process. So look for the voices inside your own mind. Which ones are your good friends, which ones are not? Your good friends are the ones who counsel you that you can do this. It is possible to put an end to suffering, and if you run into obstacles, there's a way around them. Associate with those friends. They provide protection. The friends that say you can't do this or it's not worth it, those are false friends. So learn how to recognize who inside can you listen to and who not. Show respect for the good friends, because then they'll be more inclined to give you advice. As the Buddha said, if someone points out your faults, you should regard it as someone who's pointed out treasure. It gives you an opportunity to work on your faults. If you don't see your faults, you're not going to work on them. So this is when the, when the Buddha taught the various forms of protection or blessings. He started out with associating with wise people, avoiding fools. Showing respect for those deserving respect. That's how you protect yourself. And when you protect yourself in this way, then you're safe in all directions, no matter where you go. You're taking the same mind with you, you recognize the same voices inside. And that way you're safe. <laughs>